morning and we're sitting here fucking bored. Nicki Minaj, don't bring your ass back to Buffalo doing this dumb shit. This shit's boring. Like, you ain't even got your DJ hyping up the crowd. Like, we're literally sitting here like we're ready to go home. I should not feel like this at a concert. Like, this shit, yeah, no, absolutely not. I'm ready to go home. And Nicki Minaj, we bought tickets three months in advance. We bought tickets three months, four months in advance. I don't remember, months in advance. We were knowing ahead of time because of her Philly show that she showed up almost an hour and a half late. This concert started at nine. I expect her to come on at 10, 1030 at the latest. This, this woman did not come on until after 1130. They played half her Prink Friday album on the DJ set before she came out. Tyga, thank God, was there because he made it the beginning of whatever we were supposed to be there worth it. We even went to go get drinks, multiple drinks, and little appetizers ahead of time because we were like, oh, there's no way she's even coming on until like 10 o'clock. No, we get there at 10.30. She does not go on for another hour. So I'm sorry. That concert was a waste of money. Ticketmaster, I need my money back. Nicki Minaj, I need my money back. That was atrocious. I, I never would wait for an artist. The only artist I would wait for is Beyonce. And I went to her concert when she did the Renaissance tour and Homegirl did not even, was not even an hour late. I would have been fine with that because I would have waited two hours because her concert at least was worth it. Nicki Minaj was not even doing anything on stage that was ground baking. Nothing. Nothing. Thank God for her saying her backup, the DJ, because that was the only reason why that concert was even worth it. People got up. I can tell you, a uh, uh, matter of fact, you looked at this the audience. There were points where people that were at the pit standing. were just standing. standing. Nicki Minaj, I will personally fill your Rolex so you can be on fucking time next time. Yeah, girl, look at your watch. Get people who will get you on time, at least within 45 minutes to an hour. We will respect it because you obviously are going to look beautiful on stage. But honey, whatever your choreographer, nor Tiger. So the plot thickens. Look at how the turntables. <laughs> Look at how the turntables. Well, well, well. Look at how the turntables. Nicki Minaj, known for expressing and being very vocal on Twitter. Recently, she was very much vocal about this Lil Wayne situation and about how Lil Wayne should. Uh, Look at me saying Lil, Lil, Lil Wayne should uh, perform at the... And, uh, and Super Bowl halftime. But what's ironic is that look at look look at her fans. She was supposed to be early. She was supposed to be on time, not even early. So her fans, her supporters, bought tickets to a show early and they got there and she was super late. So my thing is why are you online? Talking about how low and should perform when you can't even get to your own show in time. Worry about yourself. Fill your cup, Nicki Minaj. Fill your cup. You are worried about the wrong things. This is what happens when you talk too much. Because now, if you did not talk too much, this is just a simple mistake to everybody. It's like, oh, okay, cool. She's human. She's an artist. Maybe things happen, you know. And then, yeah, she's definitely going to come late. But when you talk too much on, 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 on Twitter, on social media, when you express yourself too much, then people are going to be like, look at you. Look at you. Oh, you did all that talking. You did all that defending for Lil Wayne. You can't even get to your own show. Now people will be like, you see these young money artists. You know what I mean? You, 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 you just, it never works out. Keep quiet. Joe Budden said, I like my artists quiet. He was right. Because now, if Nicki Minaj worried about her show, she would have actually came on time. But no, she's worried about Lil Wayne. So you stop doing that. Get on time. Philip 
Philip, Philip, yeah, Phil, Philip, your cupeth. <laughs> you know, hey, this is this is a shame. This is embarrassing, actually. It is embarrassing. It is very embarrassing for Nicki Minaj. I'm sorry. It's, it's, fix your life. <laughs>